Okay, one card on the bottom for Audrey. We are underway. Wasting no time. Mystery Rainforest. Flooded Strand. Magic Ads has gifted a sub. 60 now on the channel for Magic Ads. Appreciate that. Thank you, thank you. Climbing the leaderboard. Tamio, Inquisitive Scholar. New card from MH3. Seeing a lot of legacy play. Okay, sword takes out Tamio immediately. Resolving a ponder now. So you've been watching the uh, modern and legacy formats recently. You're aware of Nadu, and uh, it's been a little bit of a menace in modern. But Nadu Winged Wisdom has fit into legacy quite nicely, I would say. It's my opinion. Um, I mean, maybe somebody has a spreadsheet somewhere, right, that can, like, you know, really give us a good feel for the whole thing. But... Nadu is in the Cephalid Breakfast decks, an existing archetype in the format, Cephalid Breakfast. Cephalid Illusionist is a key card in this deck. I'll get the text for that up on the screen. Shuko is in this deck. Nomads and Core, which was just surveilled into the graveyard by Hedge Maze, is in this deck. Magic Ads just gifted five subs. Thank you, Magic Ads. Number 10 now on our all-time leaderboard. Appreciate that. Thank you, Magic Ads, one of our best people. Brainstorm. Thank you, Magic Ads. Really do appreciate it. <laughs> yeah, it's now octopus breakfast. That's true. So there was a wasteland fired off, rebuilding the uh, the lands in play, I guess, here. And now it was Yasu finding a basic island. Looks like there was a Cephalid Illusionist in the mix. Okay, yeah. and set brainstorm for Audrey. Another wasteland. This one hit, hits Hedge Maze, so uh, attacking the mana. Looks like Yasu has another land drop. Flood of Strand. Looks like Yasu is also holding both Cephalid Illusionist and Shuko in hand. And No Man's in Core. So. Combo stuff could be happening in this game at some point. Okay, finds a basic planes. That makes sense. Okay, there is No Man's in Core. There is Shuko. Swords on the end core. I 
think I see Cephalid Illusionist and a Cavern of Souls in Yasu's hand. So this Shuko is dangerous. Um, Shuko is sorcery speed, though. The equip is sorcery speed. So a responsive removal spell on Illusionist could stop the, uh, the combo. But we'll, you'll, uh, we'll have to see... I mean, if Audrey taps out, it could be a bad situation. Prismatic ending on Shuko. Okay, so got rid of Shuko and tapped out, but uh, avoiding disaster for now. Misty Rainforest pass. Looks like Yasu's hand is Illusionist, Cavern, Swords. Undercity Sewer puts a Wasteland into the yard, fetching. And meticulous archive. Surveil. Yeah, I just, I just hit it. So. Yeah. Surveil is good. Three. Okay, a tundra into the graveyard. Five points. Wait, how many points? Three. No, I was like, wait, because that's how I timed it last time. Uh, okay, yeah. Stoneforge will resolve. Most likely going to look for Shuko here, is my guess. Pre war former wear. Okay. Let's get the text for that up on the screen. Maybe there isn't a second copy of Shuko. It's possible there's not. Pre-war formal wear from the Fallout set. Some of our people of the chat, people of the YouTube comments are not familiar yet and don't have memorized all of the cards of Fallout. You need to work harder. <laughs> Another Wasteland. Psychic Frog. Okay. Oh. Meticulous Archive gets hit by a Wasteland. I think that's all four Wastelands now for Audrey, I think. Swords on the Frog. Okay. So I managed to get the so Frog out of here. Stoneforge Mystic is now no longer summoning sick. Pre-war formal wear is in hand. All four. That's no more. Thinking about activating Stoneforge, but unsure. Pass the turn. I'm actually not sure what creatures are in Yasu's yard right now. I don't even see any. Are there creatures in Yasu's yard? All right, activating Stoneforge, pre roll formal wear. Let's see what. Ah, there's a Nomads and Core in there. Okay, okay, that's pretty damn good. I missed that. Yeah, it was surveilled earlier in the game. I remember now. All right, so there's a No Man's Core on the board. Illusionist and a Cavern in hand. Attacking with both. Wizard and Illusionist. Swords, your No Man's in response. All right, so Nomads and Core will uh, be swordsed, and Yasu will gain three life. It was equipped with pre-war from war. Right. Go. Go. Huh? Like, uh... So Audrey needed that swords that this game was going to likely come to a close, maybe. Once the uh, Cephalid Illusionist and Nomads on Gore are on the table next to each other, the combo can go off.
consumed them. 15 fail. Yep. At the end of your turn, I'm going to crack the ball. Yeah, that's a good one. Three stuff. So I draw a card, you hang me. Yes. One card in hand for Audrey. Yasu resolving a brainstorm now. Cavern was on Wizard. Another No Man's in Core. Fetch and Response. Hard casting Force. Okay. Not too bad. Two. Nothing. Pass. Equip cost is three for pre-war formal wear. Gives plus two plus two in Vigilance. The best one is like not going to aggro. Yeah, that's why I love this deck. Uh, upkeep. Uh, draw card. Bowlmaster, okay, that could kill the Illusionist. Illusionist triggers, puts a swords, an Illusionist and a Ponder into the yard. Uh, let's <laughs> Could see an equip of Stoneforge here and still swing. Yep. Swing for three. Chump. Not hit through protection, right? It's a three four Stoneforge now, equipped with pre war formal wear. Looks like Yasu also has Stasis Oracle in hand now. Bowmaster on defense. Stoneforge swinging away. Here's Tamio. Okay. Bowmaster will chump block this time. This has one damage on it, right? Ah, yes. Sure. I can take two, not many. Four. Five. One. Draw card. So I create eight. Draw two. Four. I wasn't really watching the live tracker carefully. It's possible there was an error. It's a very time raveler getting hard cast force. Forcing back to protect a fairy. And most likely we're going to see Tamio get bounced. It is bounced. Go. Um, I'm going to need to move to discard. This is this game has been so close. There's Tamio back again. Stoneforge will continue to swing away. Oh, Stifle. Sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Nadu winged wisdom. Attack for three. Yeah, hard cast force, just how it was designed. I mean, who designed Force of Will? What were they thinking? Go. Alliance is set, just had so many mistakes. All right, Cabal Therapy. And that is a scoop. Yasu will get game one. Well, I guess technically Nadu was in the mix, but didn't need the combo-y stuff is what I meant. So now Audrey's on the play here for game two. Going to fetch a flooded strand. Looking for an underground sea. Looking for meaning in life. Looking for happiness. Looking for it all. With like just oh, yeah, keeping up. Yeah. The problem it has is that it can be very anemic if you don't draw the cards in the right way. Because right? like you saw me like top decking Tamiya. Yeah. So Audrey is uh just shut the AC off. The uh Okay, turn one ponder. Audrey is on the play and is aware that these breakfast decks can deliver a quick combo kill with Cephalid Illusionist, Nomads and Core, and or Shuko. 
or Shuko. And um, game one, we saw so much removal to disrupt that combo. And still Yasu managed to get it attacking with with creatures equipped with pre-war formal wear. So um, the breakfast deck able to fight through quite a bit of disruption in game one and still get there. All right, here's Graf Digger's Cage. That'll make the flashbacks of Dread Return and Cabal Therapy a lot more difficult. Pretty good disruption. Also pre-war from aware, I guess. One step ahead of myself. Audrey also fired off four wastelands in that game, don't forget. So Audrey just presented like all kinds of disruption in game one. Um, but it wasn't too much for Yasu to handle. All right, prismatic ending on Grafdigger's Cage. That resolves. Pass the turn. Do you want to do No, I don't want to. Okay, and it happens when you're upkeep. Okay, survived the Wasteland Meticulous Archive for now. Brainstorm. Bowmaster. We've seen some early brainstorms right into Bowmasters on today's stream. People are maybe respecting the Bowmaster a little bit less here, summer 2024. Post MH3, the metagame has shifted quite a bit. Bowmaster not as prevalent as it was a couple of months ago. Still there. Still have to watch out. People are trying to slip these brainstorms brainstorms in and, and maybe getting rocked. Stifle on the Misty Rainforest. Brainstorm's going to resolve here. A whole bunch of damage from Bowmaster's going to come through, and Audrey's going to end up with a 4-4 Orc army in the end, everything done a little bit of out of order here, but some shortcutting happening. It's all good. Uh, uh, still, still, good? Okay. So you still go in your draw. I'm going to cast a draw rotation on this. A wasteland from Audrey here on this meticulous archive and uh, start swinging for five. This game could be over quick. Yeah, it's pretty lucky to change. Uh, brings together. RC has joined us in the chat, says, hey, first stream caught. Love watching the YouTube videos on my lunch. Keep it up. Thank you. Thank you for being here. This is The Real Show. Welcome. Ring protection. If you can believe it, some people watch this later on YouTube. Like there's a live stream happening, but they watch it not live on YouTube. It's crazy what goes on. All right, a hedge maze, surveil, nomads, and core into the yard. Uh, we'll do the white uh, life. Wasting the Mendiculous Archive, swinging for five. Yasu still has a land. <laughs> Harry asking why. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Magic Ad says, watch almost every night with the kids. Helps them sleep. Wow. Got some legacy viewer kids. That's amazing. Psychic frog. Okay. Maybe they fall asleep of boredom, though. Like, are, it, it, <laughs> is this boring? Is that why? Yeah, do the kids have favorite players, favorite decks? Now, now I'm so curious. There's so many questions now about the kids watching this channel. What do the kids like about this channel, if anything? We need to know. Sure. 
Magic adds, you need to fill us in. This is really critical information. Schmidt, thank you for the sub with Prime. Appreciate that. Okay, so Audrey Roland. And Chris for my youngest because he has a beard. <laughs> oh, man, that's so funny. I better make the freaking list. All right, swinging for five. Psychic Frog triggers a card draw. Stoneforge is on defense. And Yasu's life total getting low. Scooping it up, we're going to game three. The storm count is still at. Yeah. Yeah, so I'll cast this. I think I'm playing. Yep. So it was all The album came out because it was really like one time. I get Schmidt is in the chat says, yo, I don't know if you remember me. I was the guy that asked you to sign that totally lost. Oh, yeah. Where, where was that? Was that, at, was that in New Jersey? At the shop in New Jersey? Or was that at an SEG con? That was, uh, I do remember signing a totally lost. That was in Philly. Okay. I remember. I, I did as much as my deck could do on. I've been asked to, to sign some strange cards. Totally lost is up there. That's a I'll get you go past. Okay, finding Shuko with Stoneforge Mystic and passing the turn. Bowmaster took that game. Yeah, Orcish Bowmaster is back, folks. Even if I had, I wouldn't have it. The card that I've been most asked to sign still is Comet Stellar Pup. That's the one. That's the winner. I mean, I haven't signed that many cards. It's been like eight. I'm not that popular, folks. All right, Swords on Stoneforge. It's gone. I'm not like walking down the street and people are like, Chris, hold on, can you sign my... <laughs> that doesn't happen. All right, a tropical island for Yasu. It's all coming together. Malu. Yeah, I mean, I just need to be on the plane. Just raw dog bird. Wow. Nandu Winged Wisdom has hit the board. RC with a question. Out of all the spoilers in Bloomboro, is there any that you think will make an impact on Legacy? Nothing like super jumped out at me, but there were a few, and the names are not coming to me right now, that were posted in our Discord that seemed pretty good. Go check our Discord spoilers channel if you're curious about that discussion. There's been there's been some interesting cards. Fruit um, Loops. Can we, can we change? I will still sign any and all sticker goblins. I don't give a damn. Me? Uh, the sideboard. The secret sideboard tech. <laughs> all right. Swords on Nandu Winged Wisdom. A brainstorm is drawn or put into hand, I should say. Brainstorm now for for Audrey. Yeah, there's a new version of Source to Plowshares coming out that you all need to have memorized. And it will likely, let's be honest, it will likely be in some 90s MTG official YouTube thumbnails. Which we all loved. All right, here's another Nadu. No, I, uh, I had the, the Force pitching Merc died. I mean, like, yeah, I would just guess it. No, I mean, like, yeah, I would just guess it. It's not stock, though, right? Like, people in general, it's been phased out, right? All right, passing the turn. And Psychic Frog. We are aware of the one two combos of Yasu's deck at this point, and there's still a threat. Often these breakfast decks will hold the combo in hand until the coast is clear. Yeah, Psychic Frog is so good in Legacy. So good. All right, Swords on the Frog. Frog down. And another Nadu Winged Wisdom will hit. It will resolve and get immediately swords. 
Das is Oracle to hand. So, three Nadus down. Three plows for Super. Super. Undercity sewers, surveil. Uh, shuffle your deck. Shuffle your graveyard and library into your deck. No, right? Yeah, and draw X amount of cards is like your most. Like, yeah, even a stone boy should be a card. Yeah. That's very tedious. Shuko brainstorm, fucking Thorgon. For a new set? Oh, uh, thank you. It's probably better with Frog, though. She does a second, like, you know, spin those six cards, like the echo to Frog, spin it, you know, all of a sudden. Okay, Psychic Frog. Oh, it's definitely better, but like, I don't know how, how consistent the deck was or wasn't, but like, you know, you need like both masters, you know, five and six. Oh, you know, nice. You know, they frog. It also should be the mid range, you know, back up the back. Okay, brainstorm for Yasu. That's all you can do. I know, but just in case, you need to look at it. Uh, he's done draw any removal, please. Draw? Uh, I'll respond. That's right, yeah. Jab is like, I think the jab and the Looks like Shuko is in hand. No sign that I can see. Excuse me, of uh, Sephiroth Illusionist. Stasis Oracle also in hand, or at least it was. All right, here's Shuko. And here's an Illusionist. Okay. Quip. Long goodbye. Long goodbye. All right, so trigger on Illusionist from Long Goodbye to Narc Amoebas. Trigger from the Shuko. And pre war formal wear, unfortunately, thrown into the trash. Along with two cantrips. So two Narc Amoebas made it to the board. One of them will get equipped. Audrey Hellbent, it looks like, but saved himself from a combo kill there. Which, yeah, I don't know. I looked at the hand and the yeah. cloud post yeah. just made a ton of mana, did some stuff. Like, I knew you were on Storm. I should have moved for a Bob with a way more aggressively than I did. That's why I was so slow. I mean, I had a Bob with a way more I gotta be kind of slow. Uh, I was really hoping that you would, like, forget you had your own Bob yeah, and try and text guy as well to it. I'm gonna play the LED first. I don't know. Prismatic ending on Shuko. Okay, got a Shuko out of the way. So two Narc Amoebas left. Yasu can still potentially combo with the Coast Clear. Just a Psychic Frog on the table, no cards in hand for Audrey. Looks like Audrey's hellbent. Dude, the eye is so scary. <laughs> it is. But I'm like, first, like, Jesus. What? Yeah, and each one of the, uh, the Nadus, when they died, got Yasu a card. So Audrey is in the chat pointing out I'm down three cards here at least. Yeah. Ponder Shuffle. Yeah. With the Flesh Raker, all of a sudden, like, all their spells are, you know, cheap and making guys. Flesh Raker is so good. It's not bad. It's like... Yeah, no, that's, that's, that's the real meta. Honestly, like, it goes off with Masters, Flesh Raker, the real meta. Oh, yeah. Let's see how this goes. All right, Yasu looking for ways to close out this game. Psychic Frog playing a little bit of defense here. Both players' life totals are pretty high. Yeah, it's possible that um, Yasu won't even need the graveyard for the combo if Thassa's Oracle is in hand because you don't need Dread Return. You just cast Thassa's Oracle from hand. That's a good point. I should have double maybe this yeah, double double block on the Psychic Frog might have been better. That was maybe a misplay there. Yeah. What is it? Yeah. 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 All right, Yasu's going to fetch. Get a hedge maze, surveil. Need it. Uh, well, I mean, you would have given me one extra power next. Cavern into the yard. Pass the turn. Two cards in hand now for Audrey. Psychic frog helping out. Swords the frog. 
Okay, Frog's days are done. <laughs> wow, what's going on in the background? All right, so Fledged Strand cracked here. Lorian revealed. Fluster storm. Okay. Down and dirty. Down and dirty, okay. Okay, Thassa's Oracle, trigger, surveil, or scry, I should say. One top, one bottom. Brainstorm for Audrey. Nile spell bomb pass a turn. So Nile spell bomb potential disruption. Attack with Das's Oracle. Okay. I have six. Oh, so I'm gonna have five. So I have one. Wait, guys. Yeah, because I one green and five. I need one. Brainstorm resolving now for Yasu. Two cards going back on top. Okay, so cracking the spell bomb now, and the entire graveyard is exiled. Draw a card. Two cards in hand. Okay. I guess I'll have. Yeah, Audrey in the chat pointing out spell bomb not needed anymore because we've seen two spell bombs. Uh, it's two narcos, narc amoebas, so uh, maybe unable to even flashback dread return if if uh, it comes to that. All right, brainstorm. Some tight plays in this match. This has been a good match. Really close. That's his Oracle only attacks for one, so this is going to take a while. Yeah, you guys have to if that's his Oracle ends up swinging for lethal, it's going to take 14 turns. All right, here's Stoneforge. That might speed things up. Pre War Formal Wear is in exile right now. All right, hard casting force. Yeah, and this is why I need to get some Yeah. 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 Stoneforge is in there. What are we looking for? Shuko. I'm like, just cheat on Ulamog yeah. really fast. Just <laughs> <laughs> play Ulamog, I'll force it. I'm gonna play yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll get to keep yeah. one land and then I can land it. One card in hand. <laughs> one card left in hand for Audrey. Okay, there's the, there's the fourth, I believe the fourth. Nadu, Shuko, Quip Stoneforge, Quip Stoneforge, Quip Thassa's Oracle, Quip Thassa's Oracle, Nadu. Found some key cards here. Cavern, Cephalid Illusionist, Nomads and Core, Cabal Therapy. Have enough to sacrifice now to Dread Return, potentially. Can sack Thassa's Oracle to Cabal Therapy. Yeah, there's very few cards left in Yasu's library. Trying to figure out if this Misty Rainforest is live. Eight minutes left in the round is announced. Scrubland and Underground Sea found. Audrey aware of some danger here. 12 life. Nadu is on the board, which will uh, make some triggers happen, but it is getting low. Yasu's library. Right, here's Murktide Regent. Yeah, it's one of the best keys. Yeah, yeah, it's one of the top things. Yeah, it's one of the top ten It's one of the top ten keys. Yep, it's one of the top ten keys. End step fetch fetching with Misty Rainforest, finding a meticulous archive. 
Cervell, leave it on top. I'll attempt to. What is the plan for Yasu? Starting off the turn with a Veil of Summer. Oh, no, I'm sorry. That was a Pick Your Poison. That was Pick Your Poison. Kills the Merc type. And. I don't have any outs left. Uh, uh, I have an out in my hand, actually, but it's not really an out. Uh, Combat. Sigo. Four, five, six. Uh, one, two, no. three, uh, six. Yep. Okay, an attack for six. Pasadri down to six. So one turn left on the clock as far as that. Found a prismatic ending in a Nomads and Core, equipping Shuko to Nomads and Core. Looks like maybe 10 cards left in the library, approximately. That pick your poison was pretty good. Oh no, are coming to play tag. They all come to play. Yeah, no, I mean, yeah, when I get. I mean, I literally just went next turn. Next turn will fold. Yes, you're considering the options. Could just attack next turn for the kill. Looking to equip Shuko to Stoneforge. Drew a swords. Yeah. Or a swords put into hand. It's not technically not a drawn card. Alright, nomads and core. Uh discarded to hand size. Yeah. Shuko has moved around, but it, it, it like physically stayed in the same spot. I'm not a one deck guy. <laughs> it's currently equipped to Thassa's Oracle, I believe. <laughs> That's true. I'm capable of playing more than one deck. I play Zoom. Yeah. That's what also oh, you also play Bobber. Right? You like to say that. Yeah, I'm only a one deck. Yeah. I agree. Sure. Just this deck. Yeah. 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 And you have no idea what any of the other decks are. Yeah, what, what, what did Michael ask you? Like, like, all right, how does Bobber come in? I'm like, 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 I'm Two cards back on top. Pass the turn. This this is like of all the upgrades this deck has, uh, this one has the best. Okay. Yeah, Wrath of the Skies would not have been too bad. It seems like Audrey did not find it. Swinging for lethal. Audrey has flashed in a bowmaster. Does this work like challenge then, where you know cast zero into a yeah? Bowmaster. It also works like bowmaster will target nomads and core. Fail of Summer, they can now resolve all the stuff. Yeah. Uh, still in the stack. Bowmaster still in the stack. Oh, yeah. So, like, oh, I can check. I can challenge it. But oh, you can't challenge it. No, no, no. no. Uh, but you can just do wow. it. I mean, you get, like, paired against a kid at FNM, you get. Uh, yeah. <laughs> that's so cruel. The kid won't even know to call him. Yeah, the, the, the kid won't be like, Joe, just do it. You just tell him, oh, no, you missed it. It's a very common place scenario where you're playing FNM. Like Looks like five cards left in the library now. I think, I think so. Okay, a trigger, prismatic ending. Orc army gets created because it did fire off a ping and a mass. Swords go up to eight. I believe that's seven damage coming in now. Brazen borrower. Petty theft. Nah, dude. Yasu running really low on library. Flooded Strand comes into play. Nomads and Core is bounced. Goes on an adventure. Audrey down to three. Uh, draw two. Um, 
that's yep. fine. Right? Yeah. Right. Oh, uh, Mr. Um, you can make six. I don't think mana is here. Pass. Mm -hmm. uh, pass okay, some amount of mana was created with carpet, but we're. I think agreeing that it was missed. But. Not sure. Alright, so Illusionist comes in. Shuko equips to Illusionist. Some triggers are happening. Mill the rest of the deck. Dread Return goes into the graveyard. Or this deck would be broken. Cabal Therapy. This is, this yep. I'll name a Bandit Opal. Wait, isn't this okay. I'm going to sacrifice this is Cabal this Therapy always taps to you say no you're already oh, dead. Oh, it has no ability. Oh, 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 you had to defer. I'm like, I thought it was the best. I put it in now. Uh, it's 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 all right, Thassa's Oracle gets Dread Return back to play, and Yasu will win the match off the Thassa's Oracle trigger. GG's. What a match. What a match. Wow. That was a good one.